If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Sometimes you want to offer discounts to customers. To provide discounts on totals in sales transactions if you enabled a discount field in your sales forms, you can use the discount dropdown that then appears in the sales forms to select either the discount percent or discount value choice and then enter the desired value into the adjacent field. This lets you apply either a percentage or value discount to the sales form total either before or after sales tax is calculated as needed. We'll discuss this in more detail in later lessons on using the sales forms. However, if you need to use a line item discount in sales forms, then you must first create a discount item to add to sales forms. Note, however, that if you apply line item discounts in QuickBooks Online and are using the auto sales tax based on the customer's selected location, you will want to double check the sales tax calculation for accuracy as using line item discounts in a sales form can result in an incorrect sales tax calculation if the sales tax category for the discount line item is incorrect. You can always click the See the Math link if you see an incorrect sales tax amount if needed. Many times you simply need to click away from the discount line item to a previous line item to update the sales form's calculations. Alternatively, if needed, you can override the auto sales tax in the sales tax form in the window that opens after clicking the See the Math link in the sales form. To create a discount line item in QuickBooks Online, first create a new product by clicking the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the list's heading. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open the Product Service Information pane. Click the Non-Inventory Item Type Choice in this pane. In the Name field, type Discount or whatever you want to name the discount item. For example, to offer multiple percentage discounts, name the item Discount, and then type the percentage discount. For example, you could type Discount 20%. This helps organize multiple discounts if using different rates. Line items in QuickBooks Online use flat amounts by default, so to calculate percentage discounts you must trick the software into calculating a percentage discount by entering the desired percentage as the sales price or rate and then entering a quantity value equal to the subtotal to discount in the sales form when you later use the discount line item as we'll see momentarily. So if entering a flat discount amount, then just enter the amount to discount as a negative value into the sales price or rate field or leave it blank to enter it at the time of sale. Alternatively, if you are entering a percentage discount, instead enter the discount percentage as a negative amount. For example, if creating a 20% discount, enter negative 20% into this field. QuickBooks Online Plus converts the percentage into its decimal equivalent. For example, entering negative 20% turns into negative 0.20 as its value. Next, change the income account to some type of contra income account like discounts given. If the discount shouldn't reduce the taxable total, then select Non-Taxable from the Sales Tax Category drop-down. If the discount should reduce the taxable subtotal, then select the Taxable Standard Rate choice. You can also change this value in the sales form if needed by checking or unchecking the Tax checkbox for the discount line item. When finished, click to select either the Save and Close or Save and New command from the drop-down button in the lower right corner of the pane to save the entry. To later use the discount line item in a sales form, click the Plus New button in the navigation bar. Then click either the Invoice or Sales Receipt link under the Customer's heading to open a new invoice or sales receipt as needed. From the Customer drop-down, select the customer for whom to enter the sale. Fill out the upper portion of the invoice as usual. 
Below in the split line list, select the products or services to sell in discount from the product service column and enter their rates and quantities. To use a percentage discount line item, if the only items in the sales form are the items to discount, first note the subtotaled amount of those items. This amount appears in the lower right corner of the invoice or sales receipt. Optionally, if using the invoice sales form, you can click the Add Subtotal button in the lower left corner of the line item area to add a subtotal amount to the sales form. Next, for a percentage discount only, select the Discount Line Item from the next blank row in the line item area. You must then enter the subtotaled amount into the Quantity column for the discount line item. This ensures QuickBooks Online Plus properly calculates the discount for the items entered. You can now continue entering items into the sales form as needed. Alternatively, if using a flat amount discount, you can simply select the discount line item whenever you want within the sales form and then enter the flat amount to discount into the rate field as a negative number with a quantity of 1. However, after using either type of line item discount, you must then double check your sales form's sales tax calculation as companies using the auto sales tax based on location may show an incorrect sales tax amount collected when using a discount line item. If so, you can either use a custom sales tax rate or override the sales tax rate if needed. When finished, choose one of the save options to complete the transaction. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.